Hey everyone, today in this video we'll be talking about route parameters, right? So what are actually route parameters? Let's understand that. So as we have uh, so far, we have seen that what basically is the get method, what basically is the post method, how can we use these two methods, right? But what are route parameters? So let's see. So if I go to postman right now, and if I just hit this endpoint, right, already I have the result. So this basically is our array. And this has basically some objects, right? But what if I want a specific item, right? So consider uh, these objects has one specific item, right? So this is basically one movie item. This is second movie item. And this is your third movie item, right? So just suppose that this is your, uh, let's just pretend that this is, this is your database item. So now, what uh, if we want this particular uh, first movie or we want this particular movie, right? Just one object. So how can we do that? So route parameters comes into picture over here. So what we can do with route parameters is we can pass, we can pass one parameter with this particular endpoint, right? So let me just show you how we can do that. So if I say app.get, if I say app.get, and then I say slash movies slash, right? And now here I can pass one parameter with the help of colon, right? So this is colon. And now I can pass, suppose I want the parameter to be name. I want uh, this object to be identified by the name, right? So I can just pass this name parameter. And now what will happen? See, now I'll just do, do uh, request, request and response. One arrow function and let's open this, right? So now what will happen is there is one object inside express that is request.params, right? Let me just show you that object. So what I will do is I will just console log request dot params, right? And now let's see that what request dot params will give you, right? So uh, let me just start the server first. So I'll just open the server, express YouTube. All right, so I'll have to go to this get and post, right? And now let's just run this node get and post .js and the server is uh, running, right? So now let's just hit this particular endpoint with any value, right? So what I'll do is I'll just go to Postman, I'll go over here and I'll just say just A, B, C, F, anything, right? So some random thing. Let's send this. So as I've sent this, so this is basically sending request. And here in the console log, you will see that I have received one object, right? With the name parameter and the value is A, B, C. Right? So this is how it is working right now. This is how request.parameters works. So whatever value you will pass over here, you will get this in this particular object. Right? So I have passed ABC. I'm getting this ABC over here. Right? So let me just uh, restart my server once so that I can show you uh, this request.parameters thing in more detail. Right? So let me just restart this. So I'll just close this once and I'll just restart it once. Right? In the postman. Right? So Let's see, let's go again to our code. Yeah, and let's restart this. So server is started again. Now, as you saw that this particular uh, key is now accessible, right? So what we can do is from inside this request.parameters, if I say dot, so now you see you can access the name property, right? And if I change this name to ID, maybe, so now you will see that you can also access the ID property, right? So uh, I'll keep this to name only over here. I was just showing you that whatever parameter you will pass over here, you can access that particular parameter's value from this particular request.parameters object, request.params object basically, right? So I'll just change this to name, right? So now what I want to want you, uh, to show you is that uh, all we have already seen that we can access this particular value. So this request.parameters thing is basically responsible uh, to basically hit any endpoint with a route parameter, right? So if you see, this is your route parameter, right? So now let's understand that how can we actually get one single item from inside this array, right? So treat this as your database, right? So this is your data that has been stored over here. Now, what we want to do is basically we want to send one name over here and we want to check inside these objects that uh, from what uh, name uh, value this name property is matching. Right, and we want to return that particular object. So for that, what we can do is we can use the find method, right? So let's do that. 
So first things first, what I will do is I will just remove this console log from here and I'll basically destructure out the name uh, property from request.parameters, right? What I can do is I can just say, if you are not familiar with destructuring, I'll strongly recommend you to check out our JavaScript videos there I've talked about destructuring, right? So const name equal to, now what we want to do is we want to use request.params and from that, we're actually destructuring out this, the name of that we saw, the name object which showed ABC, right? That particular parameter. And now from that value, from that value, we want to match these name values, right? So how can we do that? Basically, we will need to use the find method. So I'll just say const movie. Basically, this uh, variable will store the movie that uh, I want, right? And then movies uh, list dot find movies this dot find right so basically now i want to have movie over here so for every movie so for every movie what i want is i want the movie dot name to match with the name property basically this name property right so suppose that if i pass terminator over here if i pass terminator over here so i will tell this find method that go to the movies list find the name, find the name which matches this particular name and return me that particular object. So that particular object will be returned to this movie variable. So what object will you have? You will have this particular object, the third object, which says Terminator. So same will go for Transformers, same, same will go for Die Hard, right? So let's go and let's check it out. So uh, what I will do is I'll just uh, go over here and I'll say, I'll say response uh, dot send and inside this response dot send, we want to send the movie. Right, so yep, let's go back and check uh, this in our postman. Right, so what I will do is in uh, place of ABC, I'll just pass terminator now. Right, and let's see that if you're getting the value back or not. And I will just hit the send button and it's loading. So, haven't we started the server? We have already, I guess. So let me check once the server is basically running we are getting this name terminator so let me just close this once and restart the server again and let me just uh, close my postman as well and start start it afresh all right let's check this now right so i'll just send this and now you see you're getting the name terminator and id3 you're getting that particular object over here when you're hitting this particular endpoint similarly if i change this to transformers transformers right i hope i have written the spelling correctly so if i see transformers yes all right let's uh, send a send the request and now you see you're getting id2 and the name transformers Right. So basically, this is how you can use route parameters. So what is the application of route parameters? So if you have been in e-commerce applications or a social media application, right? So if you see that, if you're searching for specific uh, uh, categories, right? If you're searching for books, if you're searching for mobile phones, right? So basically, every product, every product will have a unique ID, will have a unique ID, right? So here, basically, I'm accessing uh, the movie's name by the by their uh, actual names, but you can also access this by ID, right? So there are different IDs for different uh, products, right? So whenever you are trying to access a particular uh, unique uh, product, right? Or if you are in a social media application, right? So there are so many users and every users will have a unique ID, right? So let me just show you one real example very quick. So if I go to LinkedIn, right? if I go to uh, LinkedIn, let me just open LinkedIn once for you, right? So if I go to LinkedIn once over here, and now if I check for my profile, right? So if you see that this is my ID, this is the route parameter, right? Manal Bhattacharya and that particular number, right? So this is basically how uh, how LinkedIn finds me, right? And if I search for any uh, one of uh, other people, right? So if I uh, see uh, this person over here, so this is his basically username, right? Unique username. Right. So by that, they will search for uh, this particular person. Right. So this is basically how route parameters work. Right. So uh, let's see and let's go back to the code. And this is how it works.